Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're all having a fantastic uh, November the 5th so far. Uh, so basically, of course, Season 7 has launched in Apex Legends. I'm sure that uh, a lot of us were quite looking forward to it, seeing the back of the old season, seeing what's new, and of course, investigating the new map and all the changes. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the changes, some of the other things that I found, also showcasing one of our first wins, which wasn't the best win in the world, but this first game was actually really cool, so uh, that we're playing in the background as well. So before I get into the content, of course, uh, do remember to never stop moving, never stop believing, and of course, stay apex. Right, okay, well, uh, let's get into the content then. So uh, basically, there are quite a number of changes. I mean, the massive one would be the map. Uh, so what are you guys feeling about the new map so far? Have you tried it? Have you investigated it too much? Have you tried the LTM side of things to investigate? Or have you kind of just gone straight in and gone, you know what, to hell with it. Let's find out what is going on. Uh, so the things I would say about the map is, of course, it is going to take some getting used to, just like World's Edge did when we first uh, went there from King's Canyon, for those that you would remember. Uh, and of course, you know, it's going to be sort of like all the little tricks, all the little hiding places, the areas that you prefer to go to it's going to take time to, to get that now one thing I would say is is a bit like World's Edge and a mixture of World's Edge and King's Canyon so third parties does seem to be quite heavy in this game in certain areas um, but again that might be just our experience and maybe you aren't getting that and if so lucky you um, but also as well it's a very open map uh, there isn't a great deal of sort of cover uh, little rocks and things like that and you know sometimes that is a little bit of a struggle to try and of course you know keep out of sight and stop getting shot and things as well uh, it is going to take a no doubt a bit of use to with regards to where to go uh, but you know you're still learning so yeah there are certainly some areas that seem exceptionally hot in where they are uh, I'd say that it's going to be one of those situations where you're definitely going to die a fair few times before you kind of get just familiar with the whole situation. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I, I know that a lot of YouTubers will be speaking about that anyway. And, of course, you'll be investigating yourself. So I'm sure that, no doubt, uh, you're going to be looking at it. As far as the graphics go, though, I would say the graphics look really cool. I love the detail on it. The game on PS4 still lags, so it's kind of a bit annoying in that regard. But, you know, it is one of those things that hopefully will get uh, improved at some point. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, so the, the next part then is, of course, the Legend buff. So, I mean, I haven't tried to sort of, like, attempted all of them. But, of course, you know, Loba got the infinite ammo idea. Or not infinite ammo, but she can pick up ammo and so can her teammate. Seems really useful. So I think that was quite a reasonable buff for her. Um, I would say that Bangalore's explosions is quite nice. I mean, I haven't really come across it too much yet. But, you know, from regards to, you know, a quicker explosion, it is always going to be a nice thing. And, you know, it just might get you a couple of knockdowns or may get you, of course, uh, just a, a sort of like a little bit of positional advantage. The, the biggest things that seem to be uh, something that I am scratching my head about. So Mirage's uh, buff, it was terrible. Um, I don't know whether this is just me or whether, you know, of course, anyone else can confirm that it is as bad as I suspect. But when I've, like, used it, we used it in firing range, I used it in a couple of games early on just to test it. The decoys still flicker to tell the person that they are decoys and, of course, not a real person. So I don't understand what the point is of giving, you know, these decoys health when it's quite obvious that actually it's a decoy. I mean, you know, you're talking exceptionally obvious in comparison to, say, you know, it being the real Mirage. So I don't really kind of get my, my head around that part, um, you know. I mean, it just is, is absolutely inexplicably just unexplainable. So, again, if you do use Mirage or you've tried it and everything, let me know what you found as well, because I was scratching my head over this being a buff. And that was the same as Octane's as well, to be honest, because the Octane buff, what buff was it? He gets a little bit more health. Yeah, okay, it's not the worst thing ever, but it doesn't seem to be the buffs that neither Mirage or Octane needed, and I was kind of a little bit disappointed. Uh, regards to Caustic, the Caustic seems even worse, so it feels like they gave Caustic a bit of a buff, because I'm not being funny, but the gas, it still slows you down. Okay, yeah, it doesn't blind you, that's really great, yeah, fantastic. 
But unfortunately, it now does a lot more damage, which you will see in a certain part of the replay uh, near the end of the footage that I've got. And you just see the damage ticks. It is insane. Um, the storm, I would say, has been changed. For those who don't know, the storm damage has been decreased quite hefty. Um, and I have to admit, in that regard, that is a really good thing. Because, all right, you know, sometimes you can't avoid getting out of the ring. And instead of it killing you in literally like two ticks or four ticks or whatever, you have got a much better chance now of surviving. So, in that regard, a pretty good thing. Um, you know, like anything. It's kind of a, a sort of an element where you think, well, yes, I mean, it's got to be better because at least you're not being killed in the ring so much. You're just being killed by everyone shooting at you instead. Hey, well, you know, yeah, I should complain, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, as regards to Horizon, she seems pretty damn strong. Um, I haven't had a chance to use her because, of course, uh, I was playing with JHD and my friend Xander as well, or our friend uh, Xander, uh, who's also a really good player. Um, basically, he was using Horizon the whole time, and of course, you know, you're not going to take that. So that is still something on my to-do list to fully test. But from what I've been told, really, really strong legend uh, from all the players that I have actually tested. I did get a lot of good feedback, so it seems like she is pretty damn good if used correctly, and it's definitely going to be a really interesting and cool legend within the meta. I think she's going to be quite a good one. Uh, I do think that she's going to be pretty strong, and I think she's going to be very team orientated, and it's one of those things where you just feel that, yeah, a bit of getting used to, a lot of people are going to be using it, and of course it's going to go from there. Now, as regards to the weapon meta, um, it does seem very long ranging. Uh, I definitely say that because of the more openness to the map, I would say that uh, guns like the G7, Longbow, Triple Take still really good. Uh, the Hemlock, despite having a nerf, still seems pretty good. I mean, it is a bit less damage and it's going to struggle in downing, um, you know, characters like maybe Gibraltar and Caustic and things. But, you know... Realistically, it's still a very, very strong weapon, so I've got no hesitation in still using it just the same as I did before. It doesn't change for me in that regard. Uh, the R99 being back, I mean, yeah, it's really nice that the R99 is back. The the past skins are pretty cool, which is something I'm going to be getting into in a minute. Um, regarding the R99, though, and the vaults, I mean, when you compare them, and I'll be doing a, a, compa a full-on comparison video uh, breaking that down, it does seem to be like there is a massive gap between the two guns. And of course, I'll go be going through that in detail. But yeah, it did surprise me literally how big a gap there was um, for the two. So there you go. Now, regarding the battle pass for those uh, who are doing it and, and all that, it seems to me like uh, very much... Um, well, what can I say? Where do you even begin? So, as regards to the actual battle pass, it seems really, really, really kind of... A lot more sweaty, um, a lot more kind of, you have to uh, grind a lot more, which I don't like. Um, and I do think that uh, as regards to the actual uh, level ups and things, it is going to take a lot longer. Because I don't know for those who know the pass well, but I'm sure a lot of you do. They have taken away the gaining the XP and gaining a level up. You basically now gain stars. And it's really, really grindy. Because, you know, like we had a fair a few games today just to try and obviously you know get used to the map get used to everything else and we got up to level three well i did um you know so it's it's kind of like ridiculous and jhd didn't get up much higher he went up about two levels as well so you know like uh, as regards to the past it does seem very much that uh, the stars is going to be a lot harder it is going to make you use different legends that you're not as familiar with or comfortable with it's going to ask you for knockdowns different challenges and it is going to definitely test you in that regard personally it's a change i don't like um you know and there are some positives sure it, it's a new season and i love that there's a new season i love that there's a, a new thing and i think it's really cool that of course you know the game is maybe a little bit of a break away from season six which i do still regard as the worst season but you know i know that i'm sure there are varied opinions about that now, of course, as we know, we didn't get uh, any new weapon this particular season, but okay, you know, I think with a lot of changes, that's fine. I'm really hoping that they improve the audio more. There was a slight tweak to the audio, but it wasn't much, um, so I don't know uh, whether they're going to keep in trying to improve it. I'm hoping that they actually will, because, to be honest, 
I really feel that uh, that is something that is also needed as well. Now, in regards to, of course, the, the game itself, the lag is still there, and that is one thing I do need to see changed, especially on the PS4, because if you can see that before I even knew what was going on, I got shot and I got down. We come so close, close to winning our first game. Very unfortunate, uh, but there you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, as regards to the, the season itself, I mean, it is still new, it's fresh. Uh, what did you guys think of the skins and the things that you're getting in the season pass? Uh, did you like that sort of stuff? Did you find it was a lot of fillers? Seemed to be a few more Apex packs, which was kind of about the only thing that I did notice. Uh, and you do get battle stars from sort of like, or little stars from actually doing the quests as well. So, you know, picking up the treasure packs and, of course, reading the little comic things. Uh, it would have been nice to kind of see maybe a little bit more with that. But I guess, you know, sometimes you could maybe feel that you're asking for too much. Um, but in regards to the sort of like the gameplay, as you can see in the background, I mean, we came really close to winning. That was unfortunate. In the second game, of course, uh, we came a little bit nearer until uh, we actually managed to win out a game. It wasn't our best game, uh, to be honest. It, the better one was much better. It was much more intense and much more action packed. But, you know, OK, at the end of the day, sometimes a win is a win and you can't really kind of pick and choose um, accordingly. Now, one thing I would also say is, of course clubs is a new feature that's been added into uh, apex legends uh it seems to be all about you know joining little uh, alliances or clans or groups and then being able to game with players now it is my very much my plan to uh, set up a one of these clubs and of course there'll be 30 spots um some of my friends will be already in there but there will see some spots clear so uh if anyone is interested and hasn't already got their little crew and a little gang that they want to be a part of then they can join and it means that they should have a lot more access to friends being online uh, if they haven't got any friends actually on at the same time or they're just you know literally you haven't got many players that you know within the game so it does mean that you'll be able to hopefully kind of like just enjoy that element and I think that's quite a good quality of life change I mean it is all opinion maybe and I kind of feel like that one is sort of like something that maybe they can grow upon maybe you can get like you can get a couple of badges you can get like a lot of things I think it'll be nice to, to kind of do that um, I don't know how much it's going to change the game but you know again like anything it's still a very new aspect and I'm sure no doubt it will be something that they'll improve upon and keep changing as time goes by it's still new but I think it's quite at least a new nice new little feature that they've added so there are some good things within the game um, weapons nerfs weapon buffs triple take changes I mean I don't really feel like the change to the triple take has been much the hemlock doesn't see a massive amount apart from it does do a slightly bit less of damage but a recoil to be honest doesn't really seem like a big thing um, I was surprised that Revenant did not get a nerf and I'll be doing a video on that as well same as caustic because there's lots of topics now that there's a new season of course there's going to be lots of videos new videos planned and of course it will be good to sort of get them out uh, because you know as it gets to sort of like the end of season six it has been much harder to come up with you know maybe interesting topics content and I think interest just dies off anyway so you know you make these videos and I think that less people watch them because the hype is just not there uh, so the last bit I'll finish on is is that uh, of course uh, we do manage to to clutch out and win uh, which is really nice um, it kind of like kind of shows you how much damage also that the cool stick now does which is scary I have to say it is honestly scary and I would definitely recommend to stay well away from any cool stick traps because okay you won't be able to be uh, you won't be blinded so necessarily you'll just be slowed and damaged quite horribly and if you think of like the storm kind of damage and the later storms that kind of damage that's the kind of damage that you're experiencing and it's damn right horrible uh, so yeah, so I mean, if you uh, did enjoy the video, I mean, obviously let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about Season 7 so far, whether you've played, how you found it, have you enjoyed it, and of course, uh, do let me know uh, what your sort of like your findings are. Have you discovered anything that you didn't expect? Is there anything new? And yes, that damage, look at that damage killing me. Yeah, that's just a normal gas trap. Uh, luckily, I managed to get out. Whew, too close. Uh, but like anything there, I'm not sure what happened at the end. So that is pretty much it for this particular video. Um, if you did like it, please do drop me a like on the video. It helps. Um, I want to grow as a, a YouTuber. It's a lot of work. But I do enjoy making content for you guys, and I hope that you do enjoy it. Uh, so always uh, do remember to never stop moving, never stop believing, and stay Apex. Um, that is pretty much it for this. It was our first win on uh, Apex. Absolutely brilliant. I'll be posting more videos soon. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye now.